people who are Christians are all of one family adopted into the family of God, regardless of what skin color ethnicity they have. So then when you go to second or first Peter, I uh-huh. think it's um, chapter two. Uh-huh. And he talks about you are a chosen race. Yeah. And he tells us about how blessed we are and so on. Right. Does that apply to us or is that specifically to that audience as well? Uh, what promise are you talking about? Well, just the being a chosen race and being um, a royal priesthood. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, think about this. You know, there's been a lot of strife in our country over this issue of race. And people get into trouble when they say there's one race, the human race. But that's really the truth. There are different ethnic groups. But when you look at what Peter says there, there's sort of a, there's sort of a third a possibility here. And the third race is the race of Christians, that people who are Christians are all of one family adopted into the family of God, regardless of what skin color ethnicity they have, right? So... And isn't it, I can't remember, I was reading something the other day, and they were talking about Christians in some far-off land, and all I could think of would be going to that land and immediately having a bond with somebody who was, had like belief. You know that? You know that feeling? It doesn't matter cultural differences, skin color, language differences, custom differences. When you know another believer who truly believes in Christ and has been born of the Holy Spirit, that's a brother or a sister, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. We might say we can all live in harmony. <laughs>